people across West Virginia continue to rebuild their lives. Tonight, we're learning new details about the damage and the relief efforts there in the Mountain State. The state's Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Management says a body has been recovered from Greenbrier County, rising the death toll to at least 21 people. Two people are still missing but presumed dead. Meanwhile, housing inspectors have completed more than 1,500 inspections of damaged homes. This all comes as the federal government has declared 12 counties as disaster zones. In White Sulphur Springs, a man copes with losing all of his belongings and now the love of his life. We told you last weekend, Ronnie Scott's wife was recovering after 70% of her body was burned. She was the only one home when, during the flooding when a natural gas explosion rocked the family's house, throwing her into a tree. She clung to that tree until help came, and she died this week from her injuries. I'll tell you, I'm not the only one that lost a loved one. I lost the love of my life, but there's a bunch more of us. And if anybody sees them, just give them a hug. And that tree that she clung to for hours is now a place for prayer and comfort for the family. This as people across the state and the nation are coming together during this devastating time. WS Less 10's Duke Carter is in West Virginia and has the latest on the relief efforts. People everywhere are helping those affected by the flood here in West Virginia. Some have come from Pennsylvania, Ohio, and even Virginia to help those clean up the mess that Mother Nature left behind. A week later in Caldwell, West Virginia, people are still cleaning out their homes. Most of the debris has been removed from inside, but not without the help of volunteers. 100 to 200 people around the lanes every day. Tim Weichel lives in Caldwell, and he's glad volunteers help clean up the area. He's even more ecstatic. Someone who was vacationing nearby offered to help. It, it feels great. I mean, you know, I couldn't do this all by myself. I just camping uh, about 40 minutes down the road. Jeremy Gotier was on vacation. Gotier says he randomly showed up at Weichel's home and wanted to help. I got flooded uh, back in 2001 in Wyoming County. Uh, lost my house, and uh, I know what it's like to go through this. And uh, had some volunteers come and help me uh, gut my house out, and I'm just returning the favor. Gotier has been at this home for three days. He and his family have helped to remove drywall and insulation from inside the home. It, it feels real good. Uh, you, don't, you don't expect nothing in reward, definitely. But it's rewarding just to see what we've accomplished every day. Mm -hmm. Every day you come in here and you're like, man, we got to start on this room. And then uh, by the end of the day, we've already knocked out two or three rooms. Yeah, oh yeah. And over in White Sulphur Springs, workers at 50 East, a local restaurant, are helping to feed everyone from first responders to flood victims. Volunteers say they've been out since last Saturday, feeding about 1,500 people every day. It feels wonderful to help out people and the victims and the volunteers that's came in to help our community. So that eventually, people will get back on their feet. You know, all the stuff you see, my car, my truck, all the stuff we threw out, that could be replaced, but... And, you know, I'm saying God, I have my wife and two kids. If you would like to help or volunteer, we'll have information on our website at WSLS.com. In West Virginia, Duke Carter, WSLS 10.